Now, while a number of memorable events did happen in 2012, there was one thing that no one could get away from. One word, elections. And the results of those elections will affect the state into 2013 and well beyond. So let's recall and remember what you decided in 2012. If we win Wisconsin, we win. 2012 was the year of the election in Wisconsin. Six times. February 21st, April 3rd, May 8th, June 5th, August 14th, and finally November 6th. Add them up, and the State Elections Board reports Wisconsin voters overall cast roughly 9 million votes for local, state, and national candidates during the year. You want to see voters get out and and participate in the process, and they did that. Most notably, for a seventh consecutive time, voting in November for the Democratic candidate for president. This time, Wisconsin's 10 electoral votes helping re-elect Barack Obama, although by a significantly smaller margin than his 14-point win in 2008. And analysts suggested some consolation for Republicans. Romney was able to push the map back to a traditional Wisconsin-looking map where the Democrats have an edge, but the Republicans do respectably in these parts of the state. And Wisconsin was at the center of the campaigning right up until Election Day. How crucial was the state? Well, the candidates were here. It's good to be back in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So were their spouses. You all seem pretty fired up and ready to go. <laughs> and campaign surrogates, including a former president. We're going to build a new, modern, 21st century economy that everybody in Wisconsin who's willing to work hard can be a part of. In the campaign's home stretch, more television ads were run in the Green Bay market than any other market in the country. Statewide over the entire campaign, spending is estimated at $48 million. We're not you know, probably as important as Ohio in terms of uh, what both campaigns are doing, but we're right up there. The statewide Democratic majority vote also swept Wisconsin's first female U.S. Senator into office, Tammy Baldwin. I didn't run to make history. I ran to make a difference. And while the national stage certainly took the spotlight for the last half of the year, the first half was dominated by an unprecedented recall election that cost state taxpayers $7 million. In June, for the first time ever, a Wisconsin governor had to face voters during a term. In this case, Scott Walker faced Democrat Tom Barrett again and won again. Now it is time to move on and move forward in Wisconsin. With one successful recall, Democrats briefly gained control of the state Senate, only to lose that control in November. We're very pleased to uh, take the majority back in the state Senate. It allows us to work with the Republican Assembly, which was also uh, retained. Looking ahead, while there will be plenty of local spring elections, 2013 is shaping up as a rather tame election year compared to the unprecedented 2012.